I travel a fucking lot and I've never ma made a video talking about this. You know, I've discussed this with many of my clients, many uh, business men that travel a lot. And this is about the protocol while traveling. What is the protocol when you travel? Well, my friends, if you didn't know about this, you're going to know about it now. <laughs> there are some protocols when you travel. There are some protocols, all right? You have to know about this. Let's go back way back in history, right? Maybe in the like in the 40s and the 50s, traveling was a huge fucking deal. It was a huge social event. Huge social event. Not everyone could afford traveling. And when they would travel, they used to wear their best outfits. There was a set of rules that everyone would follow, right? It was the 40s and the 50s. Everyone was like, you know, I'm not going to go get nostalgic and say that those were times because I love them, but you know, everyone was, was doing what they're supposed to do and everyone would follow the protocols and the rules were actually more strict than they are now. Even if you, if you, I mean, even if it sounds very crazy, it was more strict back in the day. Now, um, I'm not saying that we should go back to the, in time and, you know, <laughs> wear suits all the time, like in the forties and the fifties. However, we must understand how it all began and the rules. We must look back to understand where we are right now and to understand where we're going to uh, be in the future, right? And knowing these rules, knowing the protocols, it's not about being fake. It's not about being socially, you know, uh, uh, what's the word? Social, I forgot the word, man. Like always wanting to be good in the in, in, in front of others. No, it's, it's, it's not about being politically correct. It's not about being fake. It's about knowing the rules and knowing the protocols that those rules and those protocols put everyone in their place. There's no fucking place to, to, to bitch about anything because you know the rules and the rules are very clear and you know exactly what you're supposed to do. So we must know these rules and this set of protocols so we can enjoy our time while, while we are traveling on an airplane. And I'm talking about traveling on an airplane, all right? Maybe someday I will do a, a video, a video blog talking about traveling uh, in other transports. Every, you know, in today's society, it's become very, very annoying traveling in airplanes. Because people now, they don't know about these rules and they think part of, of all this new movement of being free and stuff like that. People think that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they are very annoying. They are very extra fucking annoying. I hate it. Now, this video, I, I, I want to... the, the uh, I want to talk about it or I wanted to put the, you know, the, the label of this video. It was how to travel first class or how to travel with class without being first class. That's, that's good. How to travel with class if you are not even in first class. Okay. The first thing is you, you must arrive with time. All right. I'm going to give you a set of points and then we're going to do a recap. The first point is you must arrive with time. You know, you must have time. The, the protocol is that you should arrive in international travels or in international um, trips. You, you should arrive like three, er, three hours earlier and in national you should arrive two hours earlier. All right. That's the protocol. Why should you do that? Well, because there's a lot of people, a lot of people traveling with you and you want to make it as, mo or as efficient as it can, you know, as, as efficient as possible. So you must arrive there with time because sometimes, you know, things happen that are outside of your control. Maybe you forget your passport. Maybe you forget this. Maybe you forgot something else. So you want to be there with time because otherwise you are playing with the time of others. All right. Because sometimes the planes get a little bit delayed because they're waiting on someone. You don't want to be that guy or girl. Now, the second thing, that's the first thing, being punctual, right? The second thing is travel light. Depending on how many suitcases uh, you're wearing, you, you have or you take on your trips, it's telling how experienced you are when, when it comes to travel. How, how, how much experience you have traveling, how, experience, how a, a travel experienced guy you are or girl you are, right? Because if you are that type of person that takes a lot of fucking bags, a lot of fucking bags, 
when it comes to, to the time for you to um, document those bags, you're going to take a long fucking time. And it, it's very disgusting. It's very annoying being in front of someone that is taking a huge fucking time um, uh, documenting the fucking bags, all right? So travel with the essential, all right? Travel with the essential. The less you have, the more experience you are communi you're communicating that you are an experienced traveler and that you've been all around the world and you don't have to take a lot of fucking shit, all right? You don't have to take a lot of stuff. Because, again, it's about the time of others. You know, think about others. Think about you, of course, but think about others also. Your image is also about being someone with class, you know, being like royalty. It's not about being like, ah, I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck you. Fuck you all, man. You know, I'm just going to take my whole fucking house and, okay, I'm going to document the shit out of these things. You know, <laughs> come on, man. You, gotta want, you, you want to be someone with class. And then the attire. I'm going to get deeper into that in just a moment about the outfit when it comes to traveling. But, after you document, you know, your bag, your big bag, then you have your carry-on, right? Again, pick something that matches with your outfit. You don't want to have like a fucking plastic bag, alright? That looks so fucking gross, that looks terrible. And it's speaking, it's screaming something about you. It's screaming, it's not even speaking, it's not even communicating anymore. It's screaming something negative about you. So... Pick a carry-on bag that actually is, you know, with the proportions that the airplane or the airport is telling you, with the proportions. Again, you don't want to be that guy that is traveling with a lot of things, you know, that are bigger than, than they're supposed to, that you're supposed to have or you're supposed to bring. And then you're taking the whole fucking time and the line gets bigger and bigger because you need to pay an extra fee because the bag is bigger than it's supposed to be and stuff like that. So you want... Like, you really want to bring your attention to the protocols, man. It's All of this is going to make your traveling experience in an airplane way better. Way, way better, smoother, and efficient. All right? So, after you uh, document it, you have your carry-on, and it's lo it looks good. It's not a piece, of sh a piece of shit bag, you know? Then you go to the, I don't know how to say it, you know, like the checkpoints where you need to take off your belts, stuff like that again travel light you don't want to have a lot of stuff because if you have to take more than four objects in your outfit then you are communicating that you are not uh, classy and you're not experienced when it comes to traveling right you have this and then you take off you have to take off your suit and then this and that and that and, and then you have to go back because you know you you go through the metal detector if that makes sense I don't know how to say it but then you have to go back in and out, in and out, because you're carrying too much shit. And you're taking the time of others, and you look bad. You know, the image already of you, it's bad. And maybe you will, you can meet someone, uh, a, business, a new business partner in the, uh, while you're traveling. Or maybe you can meet your new girlfriend. I don't know, man. There's, the, the, you know, there's a lot of fucking opportunities out there. For, it's so, it's up, entirely up to you. So you must not... Take more than four objects. You take your belt, you take maybe your your watch, and that's about it. That's it. You put on your carry-on and your you must be prepared, guys. You must be prepared. You know, you don't want to be this guy or this girl that I've seen it, man. Especially moms or especially old people. Oh shit, I'm falling. <laughs> especially old people, you know, they believe just because they're old, they think that they can do anything that they want. And that's not protocols, alright? That's not that's not correct, all right? I don't care if you're old, young, I don't care. There are certain rules that you must uh, uh, know them. Especially when there's, you know, a mom or especially there's a, like a, an old people, an old lady or an old man. A lot, uh, they're carrying a lot and they're taking their whole fucking time and they're delaying everyone. And, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe your flight is... It's about to take off. So there's a lot of things going on right there in the, in, the, in the airport. And you must take them all into account. It's not only about you. Hopefully it was only about you. But it's not only about you. It's also about the experience of others. Because you are traveling with others. All right. So take that into account. And when you're traveling with, um, uh, how do you call it, a laptop, take, be prepared. Take it before you are there in front of the officer. Right. You don't want to be there. 
oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse. And then you're like, you're annoying everyone, all right? You are simply annoying absolutely everyone. And if you want to ask them for a favor, like, oh, can you pass me that? I forgot my shoes. Oh, I'm sorry. No one is going to want to help you, right? No one is going to want to help you because you are fucking yourself up based on your image. Remember, your image is not only what you put on. Your image is your communication, your entire being. So take, take that into account, right? Be prepared. And less is more when it comes to travel in airplanes, all right? Then, okay, you get into the airplane. You are there. Oh, before you get into the airplane, you get, be, 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 before you get into the airplane, you're in the, in the you know, the hall waiting for your, for your airplane to take off. Then they start calling the areas. The first, the one and two uh, zones, can you please step forward and, you know, enter the fucking airplane. Then three, four, and blah, 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 depending on how big the airplane is. There's a lot of people that they think that they can just barge in. And they, they can just fucking come in and take a place in the line. My God, come on, man. That is so low class. That is having no education at all. All right, you want that is fucking your image. All right, even if you're wearing something beautifully, it's not gonna help you. Right, it's not gonna help you at all. Respect the, to the time of others. All right, if others arrive there before you, well, goddamn it, arrive there earlier, and do not try to step into the line of, of of anybody else. Right, and pay attention to the songs, man. There's a lot of people going like there, you know, with their whole fucking bags. No, 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 my friends. Pay attention to what the uh, the people are saying in the in the aircraft. You know they're telling you what to do. They know these protocols and they know the rules to make more, everything more uh, smoother and much more efficient. All right. Okay. Then you enter the airplane. All right. You're in the aircraft. Again, be prepared. That's why I'm telling you. When you have your carry on, make it small. Make it smooth. The airplane, it's supposed to be, you know, every bag is supposed to enter vertically. And when you put it horizontally, you're taking more space than you're, than you're supposed to. And you're taking more time, more space, and you are, you, you see, man, you look low class. You look inexperienced. And you look basically look like a piece of shit, man. And if I see you like that, I wouldn't want to be associated with you. I wouldn't want to talk to you. I wouldn't even want to be near you. <laughs> So pay attention to that. The protocol is every bag should be vertically, put vertically, all right? And then you want to make it as efficient as, as, as you can. Now, if you're, if maybe you are, you have an injury or maybe you're old, I don't know, maybe you're too young and you cannot carry and put it uh, in the little booths that they have in the, in the airplane, that's why you want to present a good image, a positive image, so that that positive, positive image will help you persuade others and, and to to make them do what you want to do. So maybe you want them, you want someone else, somebody else to carry your bag and put it up there. Well, if you've been doing all the negative things that I've been telling you prior to this, you know, nobody's going to want to help you. All right, nobody's going to want to help you. Okay, then you must pay attention to your body. How to pick up the 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 seat of your airplane. If you are the type of person that goes to the bathroom a lot and you want to stand up all the time, then by all means, do not fucking choose the the, the part of the airplane where, where it's the, the little window. Don't choose the window because then you will be annoying everyone. You know, you will be stepping up. Oh, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, excuse me, I need, to, I, I, I need to walk a little bit. Come on, man. If you are the type of person, then choose the hall. Choose the seat that is next to the hall because you will be uh, standing up a lot, all right? And then the protocol, again, if you're, um, if you're in the middle or even if you are in, in, in the hall or right next to the window, the protocol is like this. We're going to debunk some myths. The little, you know, where the place where you rest your arm. Those are for the per for the person that are that is in the middle that is in the middle right the put down to rest your arms in an airplane the person that is on the middle he own he or she owns them why you may ask well because it's the less
comfortable seat. So at least you must give them that so they can be a, just a little bit more comfortable. All right. So if you are right next to the window, you must give them that. And if you are right next to the hall, then you must give them that. All right. Pay attention to that. Uh, last but not least, the sounds. The sounds. If you're traveling with an infant, if you're traveling with a kid, pay attention to that, right? Pay attention to that. Simply because it's uh, it's a baby, that's, that does not mean that you are uh, free to annoy everyone in the fucking airplane, all right? You must pay attention to that. If you know that you, uh, you know, sleep a lot and you snore, then you must pay attention to that because you're not in your home. You know, you mu you're not supposed to be as comfortable as in your fucking bed. There's a lot of people there, all right? Pay attention to that, my friends. Pay attention to that. And your experience while traveling on an airplane will become better, smoother, and more and more efficient. And time will simply fly. <laughs> and last thing you know, you know, last thing you know, you will simply be there. At the destination, the final destination. The sounds, all right? The sounds. If you are if you have a, like a PSP or you know, like a tablet or some sort of bullshit, you know, that makes a lot of noise. You always, always want to wear headphones, earpieces, you know, you always want to ha have headphones because you don't want to be that person that is making a lot of noise like, and you're watching a fucking movie all, 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 right there and you're distracting me or maybe I want to go to sleep, but because of your fucking noises, I'm not able to, all right? So pay attention to that. What else? Let's. That's. I think that's the last thing. And uh, pay attention to the people out there. Pay, pay attention to the flight fly attendants. All right. Respect the work of others. I mean, they're there for a purpose. And even though you've heard this a million times, you know, I travel a lot. I know what I'm supposed to do when when there's a you know an emergency on an airplane. Even though I've heard this millions of times, mi millions of times. You must make eye contact with that person and smile like you're paying attention to that person. You're like, yeah, you know, I, I acknowledge you. I acknowledge your communication. You're like, yes, you know, it's okay. And also, if you are traveling with your companions right here, right next to you, you want to at least smile. That does not mean that you want to start a conversation. You know, you don't have to be that person that talks all the time with the person that is sitting right next to him or her. No, you simply, you know, as, as a sign of first class remember this is about how to travel first uh, with class without being first class you simply smile at them you make eye contact you acknowledge them you, that's a sign of respect you acknowledge them and you're like okay i see you and that's it all right if you want to if you don't want to talk then you simply put your it for your headphones and that's an indication a, a nonverbal or a body language indication that you don't want to talk you don't want to get into any conversation whatsoever all right Sometimes people don't want to talk, you know, Some, sometimes people don't want to talk a lot. And this is the last piece of advice, the last golden nugget, the fashion, the fashion part. Now, you must travel comfortably, all right? You must be comfortable. Yes. How many times we've heard that? Oh, you're about to travel on an airplane. Oh, you must be comfortable. However, that is true. There's a fucking difference between being comfortable and looking entirely like shit. Right, there's a difference between being comfortable and staying true to your essence and still looking good and then doing the exact doing the complete opposite and looking like a piece of shit, looking like you just roll out of bed because you just want to be comfortable and you, you look horrible. Sometimes people even smell, you know, it's like literally they just roll all out of bed and they look horrible. So, you want to pay attention to that, my friends. You really, really want to pay attention to that to your outfit. You must be comfortable, but not so comfortable so, so that you are like in your pajamas. Man, I've seen people wearing their pajamas, man, with their fucking Crocs. Oh my God, that's so disgusting. It makes me want to kill myself, literally. I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? What, what happened to the 40s and the 50s, right? This was supposed to be a social event, a, a huge social event. People were, used to wear their best outfits and now all of a sudden, people look like shit. I'm not saying that you're supposed to wear a suit, all right? Wear something that makes you feel comfortable, that goes along with your essence, with your style, but not, not in a way that that makes you look so horrible. Because remember, when you when you step down of the of that uh, airplane, you're gonna create a first impression. With me, for example, every time I come to America, if I 
look horrible, especially now with the policies and, uh, you know, with the immigration and all this shit. There's a lot of tension, right? If they look, if, if I look like a paisa, like a piece of shit, the first impression that I'm going to give to the U.S. border officer, he's going to be like, who is this motherfucker, man? Maybe he will deny me the entrance. I don't know. With my image, I will make clear who of who I am and I will shorten all of the, the mistakes if possible, right? I will make my experience more efficient so I will get treated with more respect because I look like I respect myself. So travel light, travel comfortably, but not like a piece of shit, not like a homeless down the street, all right? Don't do that, my friends. Don't do that. There are certain things that you can be that you can wear that are very comfortable and, and still look good. I created a product which I'm gonna release maybe I've been giving it as a bonus, but I will release it as a as a product now, which is called Comfort Clothes. Alright? I made a special product where I give you a it's a it's a series of videos of modules where I explain what to do when you wanna be comfortable or you need to be comfortable. However, you still need to look good. What to do with that, right? There are certain fabrics, there are certain cuts, there are certain proportions, certain silhouettes that you can use to look better and to look comfortable while traveling. For example, I travel a lot and I'm very comfortable while, I travel, while I'm traveling. However, that does not mean that I'm going to look horrible. You know, it's not about uh, putting on a facade like, okay, when I'm in front of the camera, I look phenomenally or phenomenal, but then when I travel, I look a like a piece of shit. That is not being congruent. That is not being uh, congruent with yourself, with your style, all right? With your essence. So pay attention to that. Really, really, really watch again all these goddamn videos. You know, I know that the, it's, a, it's a long video, a long vi video blog, but it's very important that you know the rules while traveling on an airplane because, man. How many times we've seen low class people, man, even if I don't care about the money, you know, it's not about the money. It's about the class, you know, class, it, it, you can have all the amount of money that you want or that you desire, all the amount of money in the world, but you can never buy class. You must learn to be classy, all right? Class is not something that you can buy. So learn to travel with class, even if you are not on first class. It's not about the, the money that you have. It's not about that you are on the end of on the back of the airplane. Follow this set of protocols, follow this set of rules, and your experience will be more pleasant, all right? With that, I'm going to leave you. Become the best version of yourself. 